Hi, it's Carly McAvoy. I want to show you how to use the TI-36X Pro calculator to do your fraction calculations. I'm going to look at adding and subtracting, even with mixed numbers, um, changing fractions into decimals or back again, changing improper fractions into mixed numbers and back again, simplifying. We'll even look at a complex fraction. So whenever I say I hit enter, the enter button is down here at the bottom. That's like kind of your equals. And I'm not going to be showing that on screen all the time. But when I'm saying enter, it's that bottom right button. So when I add something like 2 thirds plus 3 eighths, I'm going to use the fraction button. It's the button above the number 7 right here. So I'm going to hit that button. And when I do, it gives me a fraction in my screen. And then I can enter the fraction, the numerator, and to get to the denominator, I'm going to hit the down arrow and enter that denominator. And then I can get out of that fraction by using the right arrow to, to get out of that. And then I can hit the plus, and then I can enter my second fraction. My second fraction, I'm going to hit the same thing again and hit 3, and then go down arrow, 8. And then I can just hit enter, or I can go ahead and get out of that if I want to. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter now, and that's give me 25 fourths. Maybe you want to know what that is as a decimal. So to change from a fraction to a decimal, you can see down here where it says F, and then there's sort of two arrows and a D. That's the change from a fraction to decimal. But notice that's above the button, so we want to go to the second function, the second function button up here, to get to the button above the button. So we go to the second function and then hit that. And what you'll see on your screen is that it's saying, okay, you want to change this fraction to a decimal. And if we hit enter, then we find out what that is as a decimal. And if we say, oh, no, I really wanted that as a fraction, hit that again, and it takes it back. And hit it again, and it takes it back. So it keeps toggling between the two as long as you can stand to do that. Okay, and then if you have a mixed number, well, the mixed number button is above the 7 as well. It's actually one of the second function buttons, too. It's between the 7 and the fraction button. So if I want to, I'm going to clear this, if I want to um, enter a mixed number, I'm going to hit second function and then the 7, and that gives me that mixed number. You can see right there, nice mixed number. So I'm going to put 4 and then arrow over, 1, arrow down, 8. I'm going to do this problem over here, and then I'm going to arrow to the right. Now I'm doing a subtraction problem, so I'm going to subtract and I'm going to hit that second function, 7 again. That's going to give me my new mixed number, 2, arrow to the right, 2, arrow down, 3. And then again, I can hit arrow and get out of that, or I can just hit enter right there. So this time I'm just going to hit enter. And now I don't want a decimal, but what I would like to know is what does that look like as a mixed number? If you have an improper fraction and you want to change it to a mixed, you're going to hit the math button. It's just below, the second button down, below mode there. Hit math, and you'll see the first option. It's kind of hard to read it, but what that first option says is that changing from an improper to a mixed. So that's what I want, so I'm going to hit enter, and it's showing me on the screen, okay, you have a fraction, you want to change it to a mixed number. Hit enter again, and it's going to show me that that's 1 and 11 24ths. And if I want to switch it, if I start off with a mixed number and want to switch it, I would hit that same math one button, and then I could switch it back, and it will toggle back and forth. If I just have a fraction that I want to simplify, let's say I have this 512 over 684, and I'm wondering, can that be simplified? I have been showing you to hit the fraction button and then enter your fraction. You could also just go ahead and enter the numerator and then hit the fraction, and it's going to put it into the fraction at that point. That's another way to use that button, 684. And then if I hit Enter, if it's simplifiable, it will do that for me. So I have 128 over 171. Now the most complicated thing you might want to do is something like this, where you have a complex fraction. That is a fraction inside a fraction. So to do that, I would start off by putting the fraction button in. But in the top of that fraction, I want a fraction. So I'm going to hit that again right away. Now I'm going to have 2 go down to 7. And then I'm going to hit the down arrow again. And when I get down there, I want to enter another fraction. So I'm going to put the fraction button in again. And I have 8 over 14. 
And now I can arrow all the way out of that and hit enter, or I can just hit enter. Up to you, but if you wanted to add another piece, like let's say you're going to add something, you definitely want to get all the way out of that before you did something like adding or subtracting to that. Now I can just hit enter, and it's going to tell me that that's equal to one half. All right, I'm Carly McAvoy, and this was TI-36X Pro Calculator Tip. Have a fantastic day.